literally did not know if I was going to make it. Mouth taping, one of the many new things that the self-help world is claiming to be life-changing. At this point, I don't even know what to believe. I'm going to be testing it out for myself for the next 30 days. I'm not going to lie, the benefits do kind of intrigue me. Better sleep performance, reduced snoring, increased oral hygiene, and enhanced cognitive function. Like, who wouldn't want that? Let's be for real. Who wouldn't? Day one of this challenge has arrived. Whoa, there's a lot of deer outside. Holy frick. There's Bambi outside. Currently, February 25th. And that is officially when I'm starting this challenge. I'm actually ecstatic for this one. Compared to most of my other challenges, this one's freaking a walk in the park. I don't have to eat anything specific. I don't have to wake up at a certain time. Literally, it's just my normal routine. Just only breathing through my nose. I can't wait. Plus, I mean, come on. If these so-called benefits do really happen to me, this is literally just a win-win situation. Stuff I'm doing every single day and a healthy mofo at the same time. So let me show you the stuff I got for this challenge and the things that's going to be holding my mouth shut at night. So my product of choice, I found these little things on Amazon. This is not sponsored whatsoever. So they're literally like, you probably won't be able to see them on here till I put them on. These little X's that literally are just going to take my mouth shut. And I will say I am an avid mouth breather at nighttime. I breathe through my mouth like a mofo. That thing's wide open. I'm... So if this can somehow hold my mouth shut, these things might be the craziest thing ever invented. But I guess we'll find out tonight. It is officially time for night number one of mouth taping adventure. I got my lights on here to avoid my circadian rhythm being all out of whack. So I'm ready for a beautiful night. So we got our X's here. Just brush my teeth and everything. So once I put these on, there's going to be nothing coming out of my mouth anymore. <laughs> so... We got these beautiful X's here. One thing that I really just figured out that kind of pisses me off is normally at night I wear Aquaphor every single night to keep my looks, lips silky smooth. My looks, uh, yeah, I can't do that. Otherwise, this is not sticking worth crap. And hopefully, this doesn't make me break out from sticking on my skin. Do I wear it this way? I think I'm gonna wear it this way. Get extra skin to skin contact. It's officially time for night number one. Why can I still breathe out my mouth, dog? What the frick are these things? They don't stick worth crap, bro. I think I'm at like 17 holding my mouth down. Let me cook real quick and I'll show you the final product. You know what I'm saying? Good morning, everybody. As you can see, something is a little fishy here. Carson, where's your mouth tape at? I'm wondering the same thing, dog. At least I was when I woke up. Bro, it fell off and it's stuck on the pillow next to me. My mouth is just too powerful. This is what I was worried about. It was on most of the night. I actually got up in the night and put some new ones on. Those fell off as well. Um, So I'm going to have to figure this out. But today I'm going to really focus on breathing through my nose just to help give me the extra benefits. But this is a little bit of a problem. With that tape being an absolute fail, I had to get some new stuff. So look at me. It's time to go on the search for more mouth tape. I'm so glad I just spent all that money for mouth tape that doesn't even work i'm um, gonna uh, search what i got here also some people are like oh carson why you've never got a shirt on start an only fans i'm not starting an only fans i don't got a shirt on because for some reason i don't like wearing shirts i never have and i never will so i'm gonna keep living my life without a shirt and you can look at my nipples whenever you want <laughs> thank you very much all right i got some good news for everybody my other mouth tapes have officially arrived this stuff is literally like duct tape it seems like there's no way this is coming off my mouth so i got two things i'm gonna do first night i'm gonna just try this straight up on my mouth second night i'm gonna do a combination i'm gonna do these ones and these ones and just see if possibly they'll hold my mouth shut but so far it's i'm too powerful bro my jaw has been hitting the gym so this one though is really 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 sticky like i touched some of it my finger almost got ripped off. I really hope this does it for me. I don't want to have to go get like Gorilla Glue. All right, let's get this business. Dude, do I need scissors? Oh, they got little tears in it. That's freaking genius. Oh, I'm really tired today. I cannot wait to sleep. Hopefully my mouth's tired as well. It doesn't want to, you know, open up for me. So I learned I'm supposed to clench my lips and stick it like that, which seems really strange, but... Mmm. 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 <laughs> oh, holy frick, I made it through the night. I literally did not know if I was going to make it. I was concerned for my life. I did wake up a little bit in the night and was terrified. The worst part, will I will say, though, is when I was falling asleep. It just felt so wrong. I remember at one point I woke up so thirsty, but I didn't want to have to go get more tape for my mouth. Mm, it might actually be able to stick, re-stick. Oh, it kind of can. That might be freaking amazing. 
because I woke up parched and had to go to sleep through it again. I do feel like I could breathe a little bit better. It was a struggle at first, but eventually I started getting the hang of things. Oh, another day. Last night was a pretty rough one for me. I woke up a few times. The tape was actually falling off a little bit. So I just had to repress it down, but it's making me sleep a little crappy because I'm having to worry about the tape. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not getting sleep benefits for, for sure. Hopefully some of the other benefits are taken off. I'm just feeling really tired right now, so I'm a little bit grumpy. Ooh, this is a little bit more brutal than I was expecting. All right, it is, what day is it? Five days in, and I've actually started to notice my first benefit of the challenge. Normally my nose is very, Okay, it still sounds pretty bad. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's very like hard to breathe through. But ever since starting this challenge and focusing on breathing through my nose, I've actually noticed more airflow coming in through my nostrils. I don't know if it's placebo effect, so we'll have to see later on in the challenge because I don't know if five days is going to make a difference. So far, even if it may be placebo, I've noticed my first benefit with expanded nasal passageways. Who would have thought this would work so good? It's very strange. So some of these so-called benefits that they're claiming for this challenge to give you, they're going to be very hard to test. Increased oral hygiene, like I'm going to have no idea. You know what I'm saying? But the reason why I actually believe that it would increase my oral hygiene, I need like a lab coat, dog. Can you imagine? Let me tell you. So, the reason you get cavities in your mouth is due to something called demineralization of your teeth, which essentially is just when your mouth is in a demineralization state, causing the enamel on the outside of your teeth, which protects the inner layers of your teeth, to demineralize, causing holes in them, which cause cavities. So, to get your mouth out of a demineralization state and into a remineralization state, which will fill in those gaps and make your teeth stronger once again, there can't be any bad bacteria in your mouth. These are caused by food, things like that. Every time after you eat, you want to switch out your mouth, yada yada yada, to keep your mouth out of a demineralization state and keep it in a remin state. Remineralization. When you're sleeping at night, your saliva production decreases, meaning any food or anything stuck in your mouth is not going to be washed away at nighttime because you have less saliva production, which is why it's very important to brush your teeth at night. When you do not have that saliva production happening at nighttime, whatever bacteria is in there is going to stay in there. So you need to keep your mouth shut to avoid drying up any saliva that is produced at nighttime, which will wash away any of that bad bacteria you may have missed by brushing your teeth, leading to increased oral hygiene. My science teacher said I wouldn't be anywhere. Look at me now, baby. I got a lab coat on and everything. Mm -hmm. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. It is a weekend, so it's a great day, first of all, but we're getting closer to this challenge being done. I'm getting very used to this tape stuff. It's sticking on me pretty good. I think I've gotten that down to an extent. Saliva does come out of my mouth a little bit, and I'm finding it really weird to have to swallow while I'm sleeping because normally I just rule it all out. So I'm having to learn to swallow while I sleep, which is a little weird, and I feel like I'm drowning a little bit, but it's all part of the fun, you know? <laughs> so I'm getting a little bit more used to it. I'm making a lot Lot less noise when I breathe through my nose. Whoa. I'm kind of liking it, dog. I might not stop this. I don't know if eventually my muscle memory is just gonna keep my mouth shut because ideally I don't want to have to wear this tape on my face the rest of the, my life, but it does me right. It does me right. It's a little weird and I don't know if it's just me, but ever since I started this freaking challenge, my lips have been so dry because I haven't been able to put aquaphor in them at night. You want to lick that dry butt. Mm, they feel like crunchy, bro. L side effect. <laughs> I will L side effect. All right. It is day 20, um, so I'm getting pretty close on this challenge. So one of the other benefits I talked about was snoring, and I don't think I'm a snorer, at least. But it's funny because when I was growing up, I always thought that snoring was because your nasal passageway is closed, and that is part of it. But actually, a lot of the time, it's because you sleep with your mouth open. But I trained myself when I was younger to sleep with my mouth open so I didn't snore, which I think I kind of did myself dirty on. But that's not what matters. With my increased nasal passageway that I have actually been feeling even more now that we're getting later on into the challenge, I should have less chance of snoring as well. So I think it's safe to say that we can mark that complete tentatively, question mark. We might need to see in like 40 years when I'm an old man if I snore. Hopefully not. I got a great day for great news for all of you. We have survived. And just like that, after a few, just a few near-death experiences, we have survived the 30 days. Let's go! <clears throat> I must say, once I actually got the tape to stick to my mouth, I just actually started seeing some pretty good results. But I think I saw those not just because of me taping my mouth at night, it's because literally throughout the entire day during this challenge, I've literally just been focusing on not breathing through my mouth at all, and just only nose breathing, so I think that definitely helps. But that being said, one of the biggest benefits on why I wanted to do this challenge in the first place, which was for the sleep benefits, I haven't seen an increase 
increased all whatsoever. All of my data from my Wu Band and my Aura Ring have stayed pretty consistent throughout this challenge. So I don't know if it's just gonna take more time or if it just doesn't work for me specifically. But so far in that aspect, I have not seen a single increase, which kind of sucks balls. But if there's any other self-help scheme, then let me know in the comments and I will be your personal lab rat and let you know if it's worth it. But in order for me to do that, you have to subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you next time. Peace.